Hi guys, how are you? Hey, how's it going? How are you? Good to meet you. I'm uh, Robert Vigna, guitarist. Ross Dolan, bass and vocals. Alex Brooks, guitar. Simulation started in uh, the beginning of 1988. Bob was in uh, Rigor Mortis in New York from, uh, what, 86 to 88? 86 so. to 88. So. so Rigor Mortis kind of disbanded and Immolation kind of took its place. So it was, a, it was a smooth transition back then. You know, the singer, bass player left, and I jumped in, and then we changed the name. So it, it, it was very different than the Rigor Mortis. Yeah. Oh, it seems like they're going to be great. I mean, yeah. you know, already we were out there just watching a little bit of, of uh, Azerath, and. You know, the crowd filled in, you could just tell they were into it. Yeah. Good vibe out there, we walked around a little bit, so yeah, so far it looks really, yeah. really awesome. The French crowds are crazy, yeah. so Great can't enthusiasm wait. enthusiasm in France. Yeah, yeah, a lot of enthusiasm in France, so it should be good. Yes and no, I mean, I think we've taken what we've done throughout the years and just, we've always progressed with every record, and we always just try and keep that, the same element from where we came from, but always adding to that, so it, it always, I think we always bring something fresh with the albums, but at the same time, we still retain the core of where we came from, you know? And, and we just like our main goal is always just to keep it dark, interesting, and just, you know, and heavy. So whether it's, you know, fast, heavy, dark, heavy, slow, you know, we like to uh, do a lot of different things with the music. So the album's very diverse, you know? And we like to keep it that way. Yeah. It has, and, uh, and like he said, it has all the elements of all of our records, you know, just that, it's just done better. It's put together better, you know. It's uh, yeah. I think we progressed. More well crafted, I think, the songwriting this time around. The songs are just you learn well something shaped. new with every record. You know, we've done. Yeah. We've been around like 30 years now. This is our 10th record, so it's like you always learn something. You know, with every record you do, and then from there you take what you've learned with that record and you bring it on to the next one. You know, and I think. You know, we constantly improve a little bit as we go, you know, and we learn from what we do and just keep, you know, become better writers because of that. Okay. So we're really happy with the way this one came out because of the, the way the music came out um, and the way the production came out. It has a lot of the, the atmosphere that we really wanted to get with the last record and didn't quite achieve. So this, this record has, you know, it's got a very solid sound that we could hear everything, but at the same time, it has that atmosphere that we were really trying to do with the, the last record. So, you know, we're very happy with the way it came out. Honestly, I don't keep up with a lot of stuff, you know. There are some younger bands, like from the States, like yeah. Full of Hell. Full of Hell. <laughs> They're great. Bam! <laughs> Bam! Full of Hell, boys. <laughs> we toured with these guys on the uh, Cavalera tour. And uh, phenomenal. The new album, Trumpeting Ecstasy, is fucking amazing. That's the new wave right there, those guys, you know. I'm never Extreme, late. dark, heavy, well-written. And they're good guys, awesome people, man. Really young guys in their twenties, but fucking awesome, man. Awesome guys to tour with, very professional, but fucking good, good stuff, man. Really good stuff. So, so there's a lot of good new stuff, you know. But like the bands like Full of Hell, the guys taking it to that next level, you know what I'm saying? So it's fucking awesome to see. We like. There's a lot we like to choose. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? For I us. Made. Go ahead. <laughs> Oh, Maiden, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, right. I mean, look, we, we've been lucky enough over the past uh, 30 years to, to tour with bands, and we've got along with just about everybody. Ever. You know, we've always had good relationships, and it seems that this kind of music, you know, where people see extreme music, and they the people on the outside look at it from the outside and say, wow, that's got to be some crazy people and all this, but honestly, some of the coolest people we've toured with, and, and, and the crews, and the techs, and everybody involved, like in this festival, you guys, you know, it's always really good people and good vibe, and... Um, you know, we've been lucky enough to really not have had, you know, anything other than that over the years, you know. So for us, we're, we're easy, you know, we like touring, you know, there's always, of course, favorite bands you want to tour with, but we could have a list about, a, you know, a mile long with that, you know. But, yeah. you know, we're always glad to tour with bands we've toured with a number of times, like a band like Crizzy, and, you know, we've been out with a ton of times before, we'd love to go out with them again, or Mardu, we've been out with those guys plenty of times, or Cannibal Corpse, you know. We've already been out with them, but anytime you have a tour with them, we're like, absolutely, you know, it's yeah. like, because you know it's going to be great, it's going to be a yeah. fun time. Because so. they're good guys, good people, you know? Yeah. We want to tour with good people. No egos, no bullshit, you know? And we've been lucky, about 99% of the bands we've ever toured with have been awesome people, you know? So this tour, we're out with Melakesh and Azeroth. Melakesh we've toured with before. 
great band, very unique band. They offer something completely different to the tour. Um, well written stuff. Uh, MC's a good friend of ours. Uh, and Azarath from Poland, you know. We, we're really good friends with uh, Peter and Adam, you know, the drummer and bass player. And they're also Behemoth's crew guys. And uh, we've toured with them before in the past. And it's just a, a very dynamic band, very extreme band. So it's a good package. And they're good people. So that's, that's kind of what we mean, you know. No, we have a, we work with Massive Music, and they pretty much set everything up. You know, uh, we leave that up to them. <laughs> that's that's their thing. It's always a happy surprise. For yeah, us. exactly. <laughs> thank you guys for the interview. No problem. Perfect. Have thank you. Good, you. Uh, have a good time for tonight. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Take care.